horsepower makes a big difference. What's going on guys? So today is the day I've been looking forward to for quite a while. We're up here at Beach Ford and we're going to go ahead and see if we can test drive a 2018 Mustang. So let's see what they have on the lot. Pick one out and go for a test drive. This looks like a burgundy. Let's see what it's called. I like it though. Royal Crimson Metallic is what this is called. It looked black in the shadows, but this, this is a new color. 2018 has the spoiler on it. You can also see on the rear deck lid panel here that they added these little lines. It's pretty interesting. I like the spoiler. 2018 Eco Boost, 28,575. And this is also the new color uh, Orange Fury Metallic Tri Coat. Looks good in person. All right, so here's a good comparison between the 2017 S550 and the 2018. So you can see the difference in the grills and make your own decision on which one you like the best. Okay, so in trying to do a one-to-one -one comparison, I'm hoping to be able to test drive a 2018 GT in automatic. I've seen a few EcoBoost in automatic, but no GT so far, so maybe they have some around back, but I'm waiting on my salesman to come out, see if he can find one for me, and uh, get this test drive going. Here's my guy here. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey! <laughs> Putting you on YouTube. Oh, Looking nice. to see if I could test drive a uh, 2018 No! What? Uh, of course oh, you can. <laughs> which, which one? You want to do a 5.0? I want to do a 5.0, but in automatic. Okay, so Anthony came through for us. We're going to be test driving a convertible, red convertible GT that's in automatic. And he's like, are you ready to trade in already? Well, I don't know yet, Anthony, but if not... <laughs> We'll put Anthony's information in the video so you guys can come out here to Beach Ford and ask for him. Uh, he's the one who sold me my car originally. So I come up here from time to time just to hang out with him for a little bit, talk. And that's where all the jet noise is coming from out here. It's Virginia Beach life for you. But uh, Beach Ford is also an authorized Roush dealer, if you guys aren't aware. All right, so we're going to see, is driving the 2018 Mustang going to make me want to trade mine in right now for it? Let's see, it looks like this may be the one that he's talking about here. Yeah, 5.0. And it is a convertible. The price on this is 53370 So you may as well say about, I don't know, about eh, 54000 We'll round it okay. up. Good looking car though. Ruby red metallic. Leather interior. Navigation. This is a... This is also a premium, so we're going to get to ride in the big boy. Right. Quad exhaust is standard on all the GTs now, as most of you know. Playing than we do on the next plane, so he would have definitely given you that if you had an A-plane. $54,000 Mustang GT premium convertible. Let's do it. First look inside here, um, biggest thing you notice obviously is the gauge cluster up there, fully digital, the rest of it looks pretty standard to what we're used to. There are speakers right there, that's interesting, I haven't seen that before. Stubwoofer in the trunk. Look at the inside. 
Sorry about that, Ali. No problem. No problem at Premium. all. Premium. Convertible. Right. Um, so it has the new screen in it and stuff. This one does not have the active exhaust on it. The okay. new thing with um, some of the premiums, they'll have what's called active exhaust, and you can switch it from quiet to sport to normal to track. Right. And it either the baffles automatically by the computer will uh, make the car quieter or louder and gives it a little bit more horsepower. Okay, put it on quiet mode. That's quiet mode. Quiet mode. Okay, let's go down one. That's normal. Get a look at it. I don't even hear any normal. Alright, let's go down to sport. Normal. Okay, that's sport. Sport. And then wow. you got to track. <laughs> so that was the four modes on awesome. the active exhaust. Right. And it makes a big difference when you go from sport to normal. That's no joke. It, yeah. It, it definitely quiets it down for the neighbors. Yeah. Uh, these new ones put out 460 horsepower now. Um, it's gone up from 435 to 460. Yeah, pretty and, nice uh, jump. The convertible and the coupe basically drive the same, but this one has the new interior. So let's go ahead and crank it up and All right. I'll talk about it a little bit and you can ask questions if you want. All right, let's go ahead and power this baby up. Yeah, pull it on the right, touch some buttons. Hit it one time so they can hear it. Nice. There it is. So the top one is your RPM, your miles per hour. Then when we get going, you're, what gear you're in, it's got the new 10 speed transmission. It'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. Uh, yeah, yeah. The rear view mirror looks to be redesigned as well. Yeah. It's a lot it's, slimmer. Yes. It's more, uh, Kinda, it reminds me kind of the Camaro one. And then this actually. is the app, uh, adaptive cruise control, where if you're with cruise on, you set the cruise, and if someone speeds up, right. you'll speed up. If someone slows down, you'll Slows slow down. down. Yeah, yeah, without having to touch it. All right, so we're going to give the camera over to Anthony so that I can actually drive here. Okay. All right. All right, Ollie, hit it. Which you route know, are we going? Wherever you want to. If you want to go out on the highway, you can. If you want to go down the boulevard, well, or normal. So we're gonna put it in sport mode. Yeah, I think that's where I usually drive mine. Sport in. plus, okay. I'm trying to get in on the, so they can see the new tech and stuff. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. Obviously, along with it being a 10-speed automatic. You know, you know, they had, they actually, I think Ford and Chevy worked together on the 10-speed automatic. That is correct. Chevrolet has. Ballpark part in the Ford basically bought the 10 speed automatic uh, that was originally put in the F 150s and now they've put it in the Mustangs also. Yeah. Just that little bit right there, I could feel uh, pretty nice acceleration. It's just, it wasn't even really stepping on it right now. They definitely changed the the sound of it. It sounds a lot uh, more aggressive than oh yeah, the stock especially 16s in sport mode. Yeah, one that has the um, active exhaust, you're able to change it from quiet to normal to sport and to track. Right. Where this basically the baffles are open at all times. Ah, okay. Only gotcha. certain ones have that. Yeah, well. I mean Mustang owners are probably going to leave it wide open anyway. <laughs> Most of the time, yeah, but when you come into your neighborhood and you don't want to make yeah. your neighbors mad, yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's a good a idea good, yeah. to put it on. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a good feature. Nice to have. Let me see, should I go this way to get on the yeah, interstate? Yeah, right here on the take a right. Yeah, let's go ahead and get on the interstate. And yeah, and then you can mash it if you want to. You pay for the ticket, though. Yeah, that's fine if, if I got you. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to want to show the miles per hour because I'm going well, to Well, it's it actually blocked in the miles oh, okay. per hour. Oh, now Maybe it's got I'm... it in there. there yeah. you go. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't... I'm not going to push it too hard. As long as, uh, I don't it's think Mr. Barton will be too upset. Yeah. Well, you, know, you don't want to dog the, the brand new vehicle. Yeah, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to push it too excessively, but we do need to see what it can do. Well, you can accelerate to 60 as yeah, fast as that, you want. Yeah, but. definitely. I've been waiting a while to test drive this, man. I did a few videos on the 2018 Mustang already. Let's see. 
it's barely accelerating. There's traffic out here, so hopefully I can uh, get from behind this truck. Horsepower makes a big difference. It oh, really yeah, does. I barely even touched it. I mean, the thing just moved. Ooh. Easy. I know, I know, it's hard. You're already it's hard. It. I know it's hard. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to get you out of I, 16 uh, and get you an 18. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, I'm thoroughly impressed. Does this one have the uh, Magna Ride suspension? Yes, it does. Okay, I thought I felt something different in the suspension. Basically, it automatically dampens right. on its own. I like that show. Man. But they definitely have some fast cars, ain't no doubt about that. That's your pre collision assist. Okay. Where if something <laughs> comes out in front of you, it'll start, it'll preamp that brakes uh, if you get too close and it'll apply it'll actually apply the brakes um, oh. it reads cars and pedestrians yeah I don't know if that showed up on camera but it like flashed a red strip like right yes in front of it, the, it on did the show up on the I don't know I didn't have it high enough to show on yeah the, but it, it does give you an LED LED excuse me uh, across the windshield showing you that you need to get ready to start breaking. You know? <laughs> there you go. 2018 Mustang. I've been looking forward to this day for a while. And the funny thing is when I came up here, I was like, I, I doubt that I'll be that impressed with it, but I, I definitely am. Oh, well, nice. I definitely you have an extremely am. nice car already and yeah, you've done a lot I've to it a lot, already. Yeah, I've put a lot of money into mine and that's kind of The rear view camera's pretty nice too. And it says, yeah. This one has, the premium will have the eight inch screen. And we do have Apple Play. Yeah, yeah, and Sync Android. 3, right? Yeah, the Sync 3, where um, if you plug in your phone, then the apps will come up onto the screen. Right. Um, do you have your phone on you? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, let's, uh, here, I can I can add you your phone real quick and take it off. Oh, yeah. Confirm that the pin is displayed on 7052. It is, yes. All right, then hit OK, and I'm going to hit yes. Yeah, so. Bluetooth audio. Nice. The the Apple CarPlay though, uh, you still have to have the phone plugged in to you actually still have, use to have that, that right? auxiliary cord plugged in. Okay. For that. Yeah. <laughs> gonna have to mute, we're gonna have to mute Janet because she's gonna get my video flagged. <laughs> YouTube yeah. does not like that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Get the gas, and I'll show you. That's the brakes. And then that's clear there. Right. And then it goes back. That's the normal one there. Gives you oil temperature, your water temperature, and your engine. All di digital now. Nice. And that's your RPMs and your uh, cylinder pressure. And then that's your oil pressure, PSI, and your volts for your battery. And that's your brakes for the acceleration. And then back to bike. Anything else people should know about this uh, vehicle? The, the, the things that they've added, um, the main ones you've already gone over, the line lock, the new digital screen, um, the adaptive cruise control is standard, and the pre-collision now is standard on a premium model. Right. Yeah. And one thing I, I mentioned earlier in the video, but the GTs come with quad exhaust now. Um, yes. stock, stock as well. That is correct. I like this the spoiler. The 17, you can see it stops. Right. Well, this one has the vent that's more flat yeah. with the grill, and then the, the lines go up farther, which yeah. I do like. Um, the splitter in the front is the same. The grill, the, the, yeah, the they, hexagons are a little bit different. Yeah, they made some modifications like down in there, but yeah, I see what you're saying about see, the, the premium uh, the has grill. the two split right there. See, it doesn't has the little splits. See how the premium has the little splits in them? Ah, uh, okay, yeah. And it has the hexagon on the bottom too. Where this does not have the hexagon. Huh, okay, yeah. This one's a, what, an eco boost, right? Like yeah. That. Yeah, that's the eco boost. Yeah, so there are some differences in the front there. Good thing you pointed that out. 
Notice how this has more of a hump in it than the 17. Yeah. How it. Yeah, the, the uh, headlight pressure. actually comes down on this one as opposed, yeah, as opposed to that. To where, straight across. Right, right. So they made some slight modifications to the front. One thing I did notice is the start button is actually like some type of aluminum or something. It's a nice finish to it now. I'll give you another card and then you can put that at the bottom with my name and my number and stuff. Yeah, definitely. We'll put all your contact info in the video. So if you're in the Virginia Beach area, or even if you're not in the Virginia Beach area, come down to Virginia Beach Ford and come see Anthony. <laughs> Happy right. to help you. Thanks for your time, man. I really appreciate Sorry, it. Man. <laughs> All right, well, I have bad lighting here. The sun's going down, but my impressions of the 2018 Mustang, um, it's its amazing, actually. I, I was pretty blown away, and I didn't even really get to step on it or push it like I wanted to. I got it up a little bit, you know, but Anthony reeled me back in like he, sh like, you know, he should. Uh, because it's a, a new car that somebody else is going to buy, so you don't want to beat it up. But, I mean, it's smooth. That 10-speed transmission, you can definitely, definitely feel the difference. Will I trade mine in for a 2018? No. Um, and the reason why is because I've invested too much money into mine. It wouldn't really make sense for me to trade mine in. And there's still things I can do to mine, like throw a supercharger on it that's going to make it outrun a 2018 anyways. Uh, but if you're in the market for a Mustang and you don't have one already, I'd say definitely go for the 2018. If you have one of the older generation S550s being the 2015 through 2017 and you're looking to upgrade, it may make sense for you to do it depending on how much money you put into the car, how many uh, mods you've done, how much you owe on it, are you going to be upside down, things like that all play into whether or not it would be the right decision for you. For me, it's not. Um, I think I want to see what's going to happen in 2020 and going forward in the future. I think they're going to be making even more changes. The 2018 is a nice uh, step in the right direction, but I think it's only going to get better from here, guys. So anyways, once again, thanks to Beach Ford and Anthony for hooking me up, letting me test drive and filming for me. Uh, thank all you guys for watching. As always, thank you for your support and see you next time.